Yeah. Sales is a science. It's also an art. You may have heard of the art of the deal, but we're not going to talk about the art side of sales. We're going to talk about the science side of sales. And more specifically, there is a transaction or a formula for a sale slash transaction. Okay. And it's very simple. I didn't make this up. I learned this 40 years ago working for a little company you may have heard of called Procter and Gamble, the largest consumer products company in the world. And this is what they taught us in order for there to be a transaction or a sale, you must have this formula and it has to happen in this order. A I D A awareness, interest, desire, and action. Okay. And it has to happen in that order. Awareness. Somebody can't buy your product or service if they're not aware of it. So you have to make them aware of it. We're not going to talk about that today. Interest. They have to have an interest. For example, I'm aware that there are pink thongs for men, but I have no interest in it. So therefore I'm not buying that. You understand? So awareness, interest. So just, <laughs> just having no mental image, please. No mental image. Just because I know and I'm aware of it, that doesn't mean I have an interest. So if I have no interest, you shouldn't be marketing to me because I'm not in the market to buy that. So in order to get to that fourth and final step of action, you need the third step, which is desire. So awareness, interest, desire, and action. Desire is the one that every single one of us can absolutely affect because we can educate the public all we want but we're wasting resources if we're trying to reach out to too many people. We need to cut right to desire. So in your personal lives, how do you become more desirable? You might put a little cologne on, a little perfume on, you might wear some sexy shoes, get some bling on. All these things are things that you could and should be doing for your business, but you don't treat your product or your service like you do yourself. You know, sometimes you got to shave. Sometimes you got to comb your hair. Sometimes you got to go to the salon. Sometimes you got to go to the, to the med spa to make yourself look more desirable to the ultimate consumer. So if you want your business to grow, if you want your products and sales to sell, do you want them to get to the transaction point? Make your product and your service more sexy.